Hi, and welcome to the Max Life Show. I'm Dr. Ben Lerner here with Cancer Killers co-author, Dr. Charles Majors. We are in our Cancer Killers series. And today we're gonna to be talking about some of our miracle cases, the people that have gotten well, the people that became cancer killers uh, through the care that we provide in our Maximize Living clinics around the world. And we don't treat cancer. You know, maybe we should touch on that for a second. We don't really, we don't treat it, uh, we don't cure it. Uh, that's left up to people's bodies. So when somebody asks you, hey, do you treat cancer or cure cancer, what do you say to them? Absolutely not. What we do is help the body remove the interference so the body begin to heal itself. We were created to heal. And so there, there is no cure. They've been chasing a cure for you know, yeah. 40, 50 years and, and gotten nowhere because you're trying to cure something that doesn't exist. I know that's tough we can get into that, but it really the, the, we have to get to the cause of that and stop making it more or less than, than cure it. So we're talking about about getting someone back into their health again and not curing something. Yeah, it's been five, six decades of searching for the cure of cancer, billions and billions of dollars. Talk about an epic fail because you're going down the wrong path versus what we have found as the cure is the cause. The cause is the cure. Remove the interference and the body has the ability to heal cancer. And we've got a few testimonies or, or examples that we're gonna cover today just to help people get a little more clear about what it looks like to work with somebody like you. And so whether they're, they're also going through conventional medicine and working with one of our doctors or, or, or yourself, or whether they're just working through alternative doctors, here's a little bit of how that works. So our first patient uh, here we're gonna talk about is actually your patient. One of mine, uh, yeah. It's Carl, and he had multiple myeloma, a condition you're familiar with. Same one as me. Yeah, and so uh, the treatment was they said to watch and wait that there was not much they could do, which is, that sounds familiar too. Uh, no, no hope really. Uh, his daughter's an oncologist and she wasn't trained to help. So what did he do? He began the five essentials. He began getting adjusted, began the nutritional protocols and detoxing. Now over three years later, well past what they expected well him to live, he's doing great, has lost weight, feeling better, healthier than ever. So I wanna walk through kind of where we get started. So I know for you, you're, you wanna find some information out. What are, you know, what are the tests, what are the markers, and you know, what does that mean when we get started there? The thing is, when someone gets cancer, they, they get on the internet and they just start looking at, you know, I heard somebody took this, it'll work, and I heard somebody took this, and it'll work, and we wanna, let's slow everything down right now. Number one is don't panic. You've had this cancer building for years. Don't, you know, you need to start doing something, but the key is to do the right things. And so it's like it's like saying like and, and they will do that like wow well, we got to do something now. now it's like well you've it's been going on for years so you you have time to think through it yeah so yeah. you relax and you think through this so number one is we get a plan together and number one is we got to get the right testing down not guessing testing knowing what's going to work and what isn't every cancer is a little bit different everybody's metabolism is different so we took the in case of Carl. We know that he's got a blood cancer, it's a, it's a myeloma, which means the myelocytes are, 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 are increasing at a high, high, high rates for, for long periods of time. So what we need to do is figure out why are his myelocytes doing it. So now first getting the right paneling done, doing, doing a max metabolics, finding out all the deficiencies, finding out where his oxidative stresses are, finding out you know, what's exactly happening and not guessing. We wanna know what his body exactly needs. Then we, I look at a viral panel. Most of the time with uh, any type of blood cancer, uh, we know in immune cancer, the immune system has been working and attacking something. It could be there have been viruses for years. I just ran one yesterday. They had Epstein-Barr virus. They had a type of simplex of herpes, and they had a set of lamegalovirus. Like, I'm not saying that's what exactly caused it, but that's not helping. Yeah. So we run a panel because we want to remember that the cancer is secondary, it's not primary. We want to begin to figure out where are those causes at. And then we look at what's the best nutritional plan. And in Carl's case, his best nutritional plan was moving into more of an advanced plan that we talk about in the book uh, and, and Cancer Killers, as well as, as, as slightly moving into the ketogenic diet. So he needed for his body, he was way overweight which was increasing his hormonal levels and he was, you know, his hormones were out of balance and wasn't sleeping. So we had, to, we had to go through and find out all the causes. He had severe upper cervical damage. And the only way your body heals is the brain has to get a message to the body. I don't care how much nutrition we put in him. I don't care where we sent him to. Uh, even naturally, if we didn't get his brain talking to the body again, 
in order for his immune system to work in the first place, it didn't yeah. matter. In order for him to absorb nutrients, we had to get his brain talking to the body. So we ran all the right testing. Yeah, let, let's testing touch on that done. for a minute because you're the, this makes sense to you, but maybe not okay. for everybody else. So we, we got to track markers first of all. We have to have some way of measuring how your measure. body's doing. Again, in conventional medicine, it's just like we, we have cancer cells and we kill cancer cells. In getting healthy and becoming a cancer killer, we have to look at what are the, what are the things interfering. So you said we ran a viral panel, you found these three types of viruses. Whether or not that was specifically the cause, as you mentioned, clearly that's not helping. You can't get to where your immune system's healthy and your body is functioning normally if we haven't addressed these viruses that are there. We then look at other markers of disease that indicate something's wrong in the body. And if we know how to take care of those markers and lower them, we know we're now getting you over the hump so your body can get itself under control and heal itself. Most people don't know, yeah, you know, I, I, I got cancer, so they found these seven markers. That's what I love about yeah. even the communications from you. As you were telling us how you were doing, you didn't go, well, they looked and it was seven billion cancer cells, now it's six billion, so I think you know the, the chemo killed the billion, so I must be doing better. You, you're saying, well, here are my seven markers that were my points of interference that led to the cancer. I've eliminated some of those markers already. They're not there anymore. These other things are improving. So the, the care I'm getting, the treatment I'm doing, it's actually working. And so we had something very proactive to work on. And again, from a, a preventative perspective, because those markers in CARL were there years before the yes. diagnosis, we want you to go and get these same tests done beforehand, before you end up with cancer, so we can eliminate those causes of interference so we stop this galloping towards cancer journey that so many people are on. Yeah, I mean, if we run a max metabolics on you and see that you have a, a major, you know, oxidative stress happening, and you have severe spinal cord damage happening, when, when we say that word, you think, I wouldn't I feel that? No, not necessarily at all. And the, and the, the test and marker for that is an x-ray where we've looked at the spine. Yeah, x-rays, yeah. computer testing, whatever is necessary. We want to measure, remember, cancer is secondary, so we want to measure before you even get it as well, or if you have it. We want to look at your nutritional, you know, and, and your full nutritional panel and what you're actually doing in your plan right now. What are what are you missing? We want to look at toxicity. You know, what are you putting in your body every single day? What are your, your kids ingesting every day? What's all over your house? What how often are you detoxing and flushing those things out? How often are you exercising? We know there's more research on exercise alone in prevention of cancer as well as reversing cancer, as well as helping during chemo than almost anything else. I think, I think vitamin D3 is the next in line, but there's so much there that we want to we want to look at those markers and monitor those markers throughout someone's the rest of their life and not just you know Carl doesn't come in and it's been three years like he didn't all of a sudden his tests are good he goes okay I'm done my markers are good no we make sure we maintain those markers and we keep it there because now we're keeping his cancer at bay right because we're keeping those markers down we don't okay. have to cure cancer yeah well again it's that, well. we don't want him to be a survivor you know no. again hallelujah if somebody's a cancer survivor you know that's great news but many if not most survivors end up with the cancer again because they didn't identify what the markers were eliminate the markers turn themselves into somebody who could kill cancer and then maintain those markers i know you get evaluated fairly every, regularly it was yeah. every three months now i'm evaluated every 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 four to six months i just ran i just ran my test uh last week so i'm still monitoring everything i'm still getting my x-rays i'm sending in another max metabolics in in two weeks I run D3 on a regular basis. That's one of the testing I run. I look at toxicity levels. I run food sensitivities. I run, I mean, you name it. I am, I'm so into markers, you know, that I want to, because those markers are, are, are the underlying causes over here, you know. I, I have a new x-ray coming up in another, another four weeks. So these are the markers that help me monitor how am I actually doing. I don't want to look at the cancer, which was secondary. I want to look at these markers, and that's how Carl was, is we monitor that, and he gets his re-exams every, every, every two to three months with me. We, we do all of his new testing, and we make sure his markers are staying good, because if those markers are good, then I'm really not too worried about the cancer, because I'm, I'm getting to those causes there. Yeah, and that's for every family watching, you know, if you went in my office right now at home, I've got files and in one file I have everybody's x-ray listings for their spine so that we know what adjustments to do on them to eliminate the interference in their nervous system. 
I have another file that has everybody's metabolic tests. So I know everybody's fatty acid levels. I know where everybody's metabolic markers are from the organic acid tests. So we know very specifically what supplements or what foods we all need to take to be eliminating those markers that indicate while we may have no diagnosis now, if we don't correct those markers, we're gonna end up with a problem in the future. And so that is really what, what I do for my family, is that we are all addressing our, our x-ray markers, we're addressing our metabolics markers, we're getting adjusted according to the schedule to reduce the problem in the x-ray, we're eating and taking supplements designed to address weaknesses in our metabolic profile, and so we feel confident we're moving towards a happy, healthy life.